click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the different methods of the purification of the crude metal and now in this topic we are going to talk about the same thing that is by the column chromatography so what is actually column chromatography and what is the principle behind that this is what we are going to talk about in this topic <music> So friends, now we are going to talk about column chromatography. So let us understand that is what is column chromatography. But before that, let us understand what is the principle behind that. So the thing is, different components of a mixture gets adsorbed on adsorbent at different levels depending upon their different states of adsorption. So this is what the main principle is, and this is what we have discussed in our in the chapter basic principles and techniques that was in 11th standard. So based on that, let me give you a small description that is how does column chromatography is very effective in not only suppression but also in purification. So friend, this is a schematic diagram of a column chromatography that is basically used in laboratory. So therefore, this consists of two phases and those two phases are the stationary phase and that is nothing but the adsorbent and this mixture of compounds that is A plus B plus C. So in that case, it would be a pure component, it could be impure component also. But the thing is, there should be a difference between the chemical properties of those that is pure and impure component so in this case basically a plus b and c they are basically dissolved in a particular solvent and they are now basically acting like a mobile phase so by adding a certain amount of solvent we could see that is after a few time that is whenever the process will go on so in that case we are going to see multiple bands so in this case this is band a and this is band b plus c and this is what those that is the mixtures are basically are separating so this is a this is b and after a few while there will be separation of components and we could get that is a plus b and c as you could see over here so in this case after the whole separation is been done so we can find that is the first component that is the c is the component that gets separated out the thing behind this is because c would be such a component which is not adsorbed more easily compared to that of the other two that is a and b and that's the reason it gets separated first and after that it will be and it will be a so this is how basically the separation is basically done and through column chromatography and this column chromatography is a versatile technique that are basically used in this modern world so that's it and this is what we have to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much